Today we will be making a... Jaguar Spirit Cake, with some ingredients courtesy of our fellow high schools throughout the state. Let's get started. First up we have some butter from Cottonwood. And just like Cottonwood, it melts under pressure. Next up we have some sweet, sweet sugar from those Hillcrest Huskies. Oh, those Huskies. They're so cute and tender. <laughs> Next up we have some eggs. Now these eggs were donated by the Harriman High Farm Team, and they were transported by horse and delivered with care. And while we're on the subject of farming, we have a beet sent by Jordan. Irrelevant you say? Exactly. Now to prepare this beautiful, beautiful beet, we need to mince it. And next up, we have some vanilla from East High. Oh, would you look at that? The first ingredient's alcohol. Makes sense. And now it's time for the all-purpose flour. Now this flour is almost as bleached as Riverton's demographic. You're probably going to want three or four good handfuls. And now to cater to our basic white girls at Copper Hills, we have some pumpkin pie spice. Just a generous handful. Mmm, I can't even. Now we need something to mix this, and all I seem to have here is this granite rolling pin, which doesn't sound like a very smart idea, so, um... Oh! A ratchet! Thanks, Taylorsville. And now, a brief word from our sponsors. This show brought to you by... Bangle Stranglers. Strangle a bangle and brighten your day. And now, for the most important ingredients. First, the tears of the girls who were dress coded at Bingham's homecoming. <laughs> Feather of an outer hawk mid flight. The hand of the servant willingly sacrificed. And now it's ready for the oven. <laughs> Make sure you pour this in really evenly. <laughs> Make sure you preheat your oven to hellfire incineration. And that's going to bake for about 30 minutes. Well, there you have it, guys. A Jaguar spirit cake. Until next time, this has been Todd Brown. Remember... Sugar, spice, and all things nice.